What's up everybody, it's Matt from TDM Style here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back for another hair product review. And this weekend, we're having a look at the reformulated version of the Gerson & Company Tropics Matte Clay. So we looked at the OG version of the Tropics Matte Clay several months ago, I think it was summertime, if I remember correctly. Um, and so they've since reformulated and they've gone with a different style of packaging in the whole nine yards. Uh, so yeah, let's crack right into things. Starting straight away with packaging and pricing, as you can see, we've got the original jar here and the new jar here. Now they are both the same size. They are both 100 milliliters or 3.4 ounces. The old one, of course, being in this tall glass jar with the white top and the white uh, stick on labeling with that kind of tree design and the new reform one coming in your more standard, I guess, uh, amber plastic pomade jar uh, now with green and gold labeling, but with the same tree design on the lid. And as far as the price, this comes in at 26 Singapore dollars, or if you're in the US, uh, they actually stock this at Faith and Integrity now, uh, and it's 22.50 over there. And then obviously, you know, less shipping because it's not coming from Singapore. Um, and there are various other stockists for other areas of the world on the Gerson & Company website. So depending on where you live, uh, the price and shipping may vary slightly depending on from whom you're getting the product. So I have to say, I like the new packaging more. I really like the green and gold and the kind of like shiny, um, you know, and yeah, I don't I, like I like the glass jar. It's nice and heavy and it was, it's like taller, so that's a little bit unique as well. But I don't know, I really like the, uh, I like the green, which is weird because normally I'm not a green person. Like I don't wear green, but this looks nice. Now everybody's favorite category. We got to talk about scent. This is the same as before and it, it is, blah, 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 blah. it's the same. No, what? It's their take on the Aventus scent. There we go. So now I, I've never smelled actual Aventus cologne um, because it's really expensive and I don't really want to spend $400 on a cologne, but everybody seems to love it. It's got like a pineapple-y undertone. So, uh, snow's in. Yeah, I mean, it definitely has a little bit of pineapple to it. It smells like the same as the original one uh, formulation of this, but also it smells similar to other Aventus scented products that I've used. So like, there's definitely some commonality in like the Aventus scent. Yeah, so uh, a little bit fruity, a little bit of a kind of clean cologne scent and not overly strong. Uh, you can definitely, you know, smell it when you get, get it into your hands and stuff. And I would say you could smell it in the hair for a little while, um, but like I've got it in my hair right now and I don't, I don't smell it anymore. So now let's talk about the formula. This, obviously this is a reformulation. So that's kind of the whole purpose of this video, I suppose. Now the brewer did tell me that they didn't like overhaul the formula or anything like that. This was basically, they, they knew they had a good formula um, and they just wanted to tweak it a little bit just to make it like perfect. Um, so I'm curious, I didn't look at the ingredients ahead of time to see if there's anything like different there uh, or if they just modified the amounts of various ingredients. Uh, yeah, so water-based, canned a little wax, second ingredient, then our favorite boy, Kaolin. <laughs> Kaolin clay. Oh, here we go. So this is a little bit different. The reform then has avocado oil while the OG has peg 40 hydrogenated castor oil next, then the avocado oil. So those two ingredients are flip, flip flopped. Um, the new one doesn't seem to have jojoba seed oil in it. The OG did. So yeah, there are, most of the ingredients are the same. Some are definitely in different order in the reform and we are, uh, they've removed a couple of ingredients. So with all that said, let's take a look inside the jar and see how the product appears, if they look any different, which yeah, they do slightly. Uh, so the newer one, as you can see here, has a little bit more of a whitish tone to it. It's not quite as uh, like yellowy tan color and it is also creamier and maybe slightly waxier looking. I don't really know if I go that far though because once you get them into the hands they do have very similar breakdowns that are just very smooth 
uh, but with waxiness and you can start to feel a little bit of grip as you emulsify them. Now, it is still meant to do the same thing, so matte finish, high volume, strong hold, restylable with easy application and easy washout. So with that being said, let's move into the demo footage. Okay. Oh, my nose was so itchy for that last, it's still itchy. What's happening? So as per usual, we're starting out our demo here with freshly washed and blow-dried hair, pre-styled only with a bit of 25 for smoothing and hydration, as I always do. And we're going in with just a dime-sized amount here now. One thing that I will mention straight off the bat, uh, definitely go in with a small amount of product because I think I had the same experience with the original formula in that if you are too heavy-handed, it will get uh, quite sticky because it also does have that kind of thickening effect in the hair because of our Kalen boy in there. Um, and that paired with the waxes, it can be a little bit overbearing and can seem a little bit on the drier side if you use too much in one go. Uh, so definitely start small. You can see here, uh, things are looking good. Texture is good. Vol volume's definitely high. It is absolutely a matte finish, but without being, you know, dry matte. So it's got that nice kind of balance where the natural shine of your hair can still come through a bit. Now I did end up going in with just a very tiny, like an additional maybe pea-sized amount just into the finger tips just to get a little bit more in the roots in the very front of my hair. I could have left it with the one dime size, I think, but it felt like it needed just a touch more product to get the hold to where I felt more comfortable. So here we are with the final style. I'd say things are looking pretty good. And this is one of those definitely like easy stylers. Again, as long as you don't go in with way too much product, it is very smooth to apply. It does have a bit of grip and a bit of dryness, but it's nothing overbearing. It's very easy to style with and it styles quickly. So that whole process was maybe like three minutes tops and it was done. Now, the thing that I really liked about the OG was that it performed quite well in high humidity situation, so it was nice in the summertime, and so I have, I've had this for a while, and I just haven't gotten around to reviewing it, um, so I did get to try this when it was still, like, hot and humid, and it still has that quality, so that's always a nice thing, especially for wavy, coarse-haired folks like myself, who typically, when humidity happens, their hair just goes poof, and just curls and frizzy flyaways everywhere. So this is definitely a good product uh, to fight against that in the warmer months. In terms of endurance, here's a look at my hairstyle eight hours later. So you can see not much has changed. Maybe the volume deflated slightly, but texture's still looking great. Uh, it's still very pliable, so you can certainly move it around and restyle it if you want to or need to. And as far as washout, yeah, very easy. Um, I would say you probably need a little touch of shampoo just to get all that, like the wax completely out, but it does rinse mostly out with just water for me. And yeah, easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. And actually, I've still, so this is uh, day two. I filmed the demo yesterday and then slept on it. And then this is what it looks like on day two. I didn't have to use any dry shampoo or anything. This is literally just uh, rolled out of bed and did one of these. And uh, yeah, here we are. So still holding up quite well. Definitely didn't get greasy or anything. It's still uh, nice and matte. The texture is still looking good. It didn't get, you know, go to strands or anything. Um, so yeah. Pretty good endurance. So overall thoughts on, oh geez, I almost hit the microphone with that. That would have been a bad audio experience. So overall thoughts on the reformulation of the Tropics Matt Clay from Gerson and Company. Yeah, it's just as good as the OG. And I would say uh, it's definitely, it's creamier scoop, creamier uh, breakdown, but similar application and styling, definitely the same high level of performance. So that's always nice. And yeah, so they did exactly what they wanted to, I think, you know, they just, they took their formula that they were happy with and just tweaked a couple things just to make it like perfection in their eyes, just a little bit, you know, easier to style with uh, even more so than it was before. So definitely I would say mission accomplished. And also it is nice that they now stock these at the Faith and Integrity shop for those of us in the US so that it will be easier and quicker to get these. So yeah, that was a nice and easy video this week with a, that, see, that's what happens when you have a product that works as described and works well, and I don't have to spend time roasting it and breaking down the awfulness of four products like we did last week in the Head and Shoulders video. So if you missed that, go check it out because it's, it's long, but we did a deep dive. There's some weird shit going on. Also, before we wrap up, just a couple quick updates for other things. If you follow my 
community tab, I did mention um, I decided I'm going to create a separate gaming channel again. I had tried that once in the past and it just didn't work. It never went anywhere. And then I was just doing like half an hour episodic releases of games. Um, and it was just way too much time that I was putting into that for literally no return. But so this time, um, it's mostly gonna be for streaming. Like when I do those random gaming streams and stuff, I'll just do them over there just to keep all like gaming content in one place and not have it, you know, here on a hair review channel where it doesn't really make sense. So of course, when that happens, when I decide on a name for it and everything and get it set up, of course, I will mention it here. So if any of you wanna go check that out, you will be able to. And, uh, I guess that was about it. Oh, also, so some of you saw the, the fuck me up mug that I came out with in a few videos ago, and I guess surprising no one, uh, YouTube didn't approve it to, for, to show up on the Teespring shelf on my channel. Uh, I reviewed their terms, which don't mention nothing about having profanity, but I guess they didn't like it because it has a bad word on it. Um, so you can still get it from my Teespring shop if you would like one, I'll have a direct link below. And I'll try to rework the listing at some point so that hopefully it'll show up on videos like it's supposed to. But yeah, that's about it. That wraps things up for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed this and found it helpful. Please do stay tuned. Got plenty more stuff as usual coming down the pipe. So if you haven't already, feel free to hit the subscribe button down below to keep up to date with everything. And as always, thank you guys so much for coming by and watching. And we'll see you at the next one.